Hey there, this is Katherine Cartwright. Welcome to Scrapbook Pal channel. I've got some fun products from Spellbinders. This is part of the Tunnelscapes collection. There's one that allows you to cut the windows for your ocean scene. There's some stamps. And then there's one called Marine Life that allows you to create adorable um, fish. Okay, so I'm going to begin by, I've got some card stock from my craft stash. I'm just kind of measuring out the size of these little um, tunnels, so to speak. And I'm taking the biggest one and then the middle and the smallest. So I'm going to use these three to create the base of my card. I'm going to save that dark paper. The darkest one I'm going to keep for the bottom layer. So I'm going to layer these together. So I'm starting with my paper. I'm putting the lightest color on top and then I'm going to work my way down to the darkest color. I'm just going to trim up a little bit of this cardstock. These kind of dies are great for helping you use up cardstock. I love when you just have a die. Um, then you can use some of your scrap stash as we all have. So I'm just going to make sure that my cardstock is measuring correctly. It's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half as the finished card, and that will fit perfectly onto an A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm just going to make my panel and then I will put it on my card base. So I'm going to take a second here and just run these through my um, machine. And then I'm going to trim down this little smaller piece of the dark blue. That's going to be underneath it all. So it just needs to be a little bit smaller than the rest of my pieces. Okay, so I'm just kind of laying this out, getting it squared away. You can see how these are going to come together. I'm going to um, add some dimension to mine using foam. You could keep them flat if you wanted to for mailing. My card uh, will require a little extra postage for mailing, but if you wanted to do it just flat, you could as well. It just gives you a little bit extra detail. So I'm going to put the lighter piece on top. And then I've got my little sticky mat here because I had some foam strips on there and I'm going to be working with some watercolor. So I've just got that there so I'm not sticking everywhere. Um, I tend to get adhesive all over the place and then um, I'm sticking everywhere. So I've just got a little mat under here to keep things from adhering inappropriately where I don't want them to go. All right, so I've got this third layer here. And then I'm going to stop with my foam. So I've got two layers of foam just using some of those strips. And now I'm going to take my Barely Arts glue here and glue this last layer underneath, which is, again, that dark blue for my ocean scene that I'm going to put together. Okay, so I'm just kind of laying that out. And then I'll make sure that glue is sticking where I want it to. And I've got a nice, good adhesion. All right, so I wanted to use some of this splatter watercolor. It's very concentrated. I'm going to mix it up a little bit and I'm just going to use the tiniest bit. It's very, very concentrated. This is also from Spellbinders. So I've got a, a little bit of water here on my mat. I'm going to make my brush a teeny bit wet and then you can see how much white I get out of there. If you want it a little more concentrated, you can use even less water than I did. Um, maybe just a little tiny bit on your brush, but you can see it's pretty concentrated. Uh, but if you really don't want to add much water, you don't have to. It's very, very concentrated. And um, so that's all it's going to take. So I'm just going to flick that around and I'm going to let that dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to work with these Marine Life dies. They come, there's some layering dies. And again, you can see I've got a lot of my scrap stash out and I have gone ahead and cut a lot of these little fishes here and then I'm going to glue them together using some of my Barely Arts glue. All right so this little fish is purple and I'm just going to stick it in and there's also a little a tiny little piece too for um, the fin and so I'm going to make this one a different color here. So they're completely customizable which is a lot of fun. I've got a a little fish that has a white little body here and then I'm going to add some bright pink on top to have some nice colorful fish. Um, don't we always want to see colorful fish out in the ocean? Um, sometimes I don't see that many um, where I live, where I vacation. I've got the wrong size little um, fish fin in there so I've got to cut it again. I realized I had the wrong shape in there so I'm just making that correction here but um, I always uh, want to see bright, colorful fish. These are the fish 
that I dream of. And um, so you can make them any color you want, completely customizable. All right, so I've got that little fin placed in there. And then on this little fish, I'm gonna glue these together and the fin is just gonna sit on top. It doesn't have a specific little um, kind of notch where it was cut out of. So I'm just gonna put it in the middle um, between the mouth, the face and the back of the, so right there in that middle section, okay? And I'm gonna keep it the same color as well. You could make it orange if you wanted to for a little contrast. And then that's all it takes to put these really cute little fish. I've got some glue all over my fingers. And so I'm picking up things that I don't want to pick up. I probably need to take a second and rinse my hands. I've been crafting for a bit. So things are a little bit sticky. All right. So when I, everything is ready, uh, I'm going to flip these little fish over. And I want to work on the eyes. I'm going to add a little small piece of black cardstock here to create my eye. Since there's not really a place to lay the eye into since it's the same size as the die cut. So this is just a really quick and easy way to fill in the eye um, when you don't have the ability to add something in there. You could use something like um, some glitter glue, some stickles or something like that. If you had a mat, a non-stick mat, you could add um, some glitter glue to it if you wanted some dimension. So, um, but the, the black paper behind the eye is just a quick and easy way to fill that in. And I did need to make uh, a little turtle, this adorable turtle, nice size turtle who has some little pieces. This little kind of squiggly piece goes underneath the shell. And, um, and then there's some legs um, that, are, that you can use to add on a little bit more dimension. And I'm using some really bright green because again, I want an ocean full of bright colors. So I went through my craft stash of my paper and picked out um, a lot of different fun colors to play with. And again, so completely customizable. Um, I think it would be fun to do like a pink turtle as well if you wanted to or a blue one. They don't always have to be green. But I did keep this one a little more realistic. All right, and here's that other piece, that second piece for the leg. You can see, um, even though I'm not showing it super close up, but there's some nice detail in the die cuts that are kind of embossed in there a little bit. So a little more added detail in there. You can also ink blend on top of these if you wanted to, to add a little bit more dimension. But uh, truly I found that the details were very nice and so I didn't feel that I had to do that extra step, but you certainly could. All right, and there is the last little eye and I'm gonna let that dry. All right, so my watercolor has dried and you can see it's um, nice and bright. And then I have got some more little die cuts here from, so I'm using the Marine Life and then the Tunnelscapes that has um, for the water. And so there's some coral in there and kind of some seaweed. So I wanted to add a few elements of that. I also have a little rock in there. They had a couple of rock dies. And so I'm just gonna take a second here and kind of lay these out where I want them to go. And then I'm gonna decide who is gonna get glued down and who is gonna get popped up with foam. I already have a little bit of foam, obviously, from the tunnel, uh, but I am gonna add some foam to some of these just to pop them up, and then they'll be even with the card as well. But a few of these I'm just gonna glue directly onto my little ocean panel here and then I can add some with my dimensionals. And I keep knocking over my glue bottle today. I'm just, I don't know, my hands are sticky, I guess, and everything's just kind of um, sticking to me and I'm knocking stuff over. So um, the craft room is a little bit um, messy today. All right, so I'm gonna slide this little um, coral in here or some sort of, I guess it would maybe be seaweed. In this case, it's so pretty. I used that uh, same bright green and then I do have kind of some coral colored paper here. Has some nice uh, dimension in there with the little embossing as well. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more. So I'm just making sure everything's glued down. I've got this little fin here that I wanna put underneath. And so I'm just gonna use my bone folder there to fix that. Here is where I'm gonna use a little bit of my um, thin adhesive. These are the, uh, there's a variety pack on scrapbookpal.com that I love that has bigger squares and smaller squares of the thin adhesive. And I use these all the time. They're great quality and um, they're available in the store. But I highly recommend them. I love that they have a bigger one and a smaller one because it just kind of 
but they're the same height. So if you needed to use a big one and a small one together, you could. So just a lot of versatility. All right, here is my, my panel sticking just a little bit. I took it up before I adhered it onto my card base. I've got this Wishing You Oceans of Joy that I stamped onto a piece of white cardstock just using some black ink. And now I am going to add this to my card panel. I put a strip on here, but then when I looked at it, I could tell that I did not need that. I already had enough layers, but since my little uh, darker piece of cardstock um, was shorter, I wasn't sure. So I just was correcting that. So I just decided to put glue on there and I almost glued it upside down, but called it at the last second. And again, this will fit on an A2 sized card, four and a quarter by five and a half. And look at how fun that is. Oh my goodness. And then I had one more little stone here that I wanted to add. I had cut a few of these and I wanted to add one in just to add a little bit of grounding on that bottom where the uh, seaweed is. Just to kind of finish that off. Super, super cute. And then I am going to add, a, I went back and added a few little gemstones to that one to finish it off. But I'm going to have um, a bonus card here. I took those pieces left behind and I glued, the, so what I cut out for the tunnelscape for my little ocean scene, I glued them onto a four by five and a quarter cardstock, white cardstock. Um, when I, I get little shape pieces like this, I love to use them instead of just recycling them. So I decided to try and create another card with it. So I'm going to trim this panel down. I didn't have it quite to the four inches. So I'm just going to tidy this up with my trimmer here, getting this again down to four by five and a quarter. All right. And then I had cut a couple of anchors from that tunnel set. I did a lighter one and a darker one. I just really, I have a um, real love for anchors. And so um, I decided to add two to this card and they actually really fit well on top of these kind of um, little um, shapes, so to speak. So anytime you have a shape like this, um, maybe add it to a piece of cardstock like this and you can always come up with another card. Just a fun way to fill the space and then add a few little elements and you've got another card without wasting. Okay, so I've got the second anchor here that's gonna go down and then um, I created a strip. I did some heat embossing off camera with some white embossing powder, Dive Into Happiness. I was going to add this to a dark blue card base, but I just didn't like it. I felt like it overwhelmed um, kind of the background that I wanted to create here. So I'm just pulling out a few more little elements. I've got this other little kind of lacy coral that was in that die set that I had cut earlier, I didn't use. So I decided to throw that into this card and see if it would work. I'm just gluing my strip directly onto my cardstock. Again, that was heat embossed in white. And then I just need to add a tiny bit of glue there that I missed. And I'm gonna glue this very delicate, beautiful, um, lacy coral onto my card. Um, I don't think I could get any foam on here because it is very small. But that Barely Arts glue is a champ when it comes to using um, the fine tip for products like this. And I decided to add this directly onto a white card base. Um, I just like the cleanness of it and keeping this card very simple. But again, don't throw those scraps out. I've really been digging, trying to use these shapes, making another card. It just adds a little bit of movement and interest. Um, so that is using the extras. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this um, card using Spellbinders Tunnelscapes products. Check out the store. I've got everything linked in the description, and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting and have a great day.